Hello and welcome back to our continuing adventures on the Let's Defend platform. Today we are tackling another challenge, an easy one this time. Um, that being PCAP analysis. So, set the situation. We have captured this traffic from P13's computer. Can you help him? And we have a Linux VM that gets spun up. And on the desktop should be a folder called challenge file PCAP underscore analysis dot PCAP NG. Uh, let's see, we got some questions. Of course. And network communication. What are the IP addresses of the sender and receiver? P13 uploaded a file to the web server. What is the IP address of the server? What is the name of the file that was sent through the network? What is the name of the web server? Where the file was uploaded? What directory was the file uploaded to? And how long did it take the sender to send the encrypted file? Well, that's going to be interesting. All right. And true to form, yes, there was a PCAP underscore analysis in the challenge folder. Uh oh. I thought I just minimized it, didn't I? No, you might not have. Oh, wait, no, it's over here. All right, so we start off with the source being 104.244.42.194 and destination 192.168.135.137. And does that seem... No, I don't think that's going to be. So we're going to take a look at, what is it, conversations underneath statistics. We're looking for IPv4. So where's a majority of this sit? So let's do IP. Let's go by packets. Where's the majority of the conversation going on here? So it looks like majority of the conversation is a 156-232-172, and the other address is 192-168-135-137. So what do they give us? Find the chat, sender 13. So then I guess let's look at... I would figure that, that would be legitimate, considering the fact that we're talking... What? 6.6 .6 million? It's like 6 megs. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Not fast enough on the mute button. That came out of uh, left field there. <laughs> uh, so we need to find a conversation, huh? And this all becomes UDP, so... But yeah, that, that fits everything there, so if we do... Does it follow UDP stream? Can we actually find a legitimate conversation? Okay, so the hint is find P13. So I'm taking it literally, and I think I found exactly what they're looking for. So the filter of frame space contains space. Double quote. Capital P, one, three, capital, or double quote. We'll sit there and go through and look for the frame contents that would contain P13. And what we find is what looks to be a conversation between P13 and a CU713. And so we see it looks like they're on the same network. 
Source being 192.168.235.137. Destination 192.168.235.131. So the question is, okay, how do we know sender and receiver? Because we're looking at source and destination fields. And it looks like P13 starts this conversation with, hey, CU713 exclamation point. It's been a while. How have you been? Question mark. Seems to be the beginning of a conversation. So let's see. The format that they want this in is sender, comma, receiver. So 192.168.235.137. And then ending in 131. So 192.168.235.131. Correct. Okay. And then we have P13 uploaded a file to the web server. What is the IP address of the web server? Let's see. Is that mentioned in the conversation that they were having, I guess would be the question. So if we go and we follow the TCP stream, oh god, that looks so much better than trying to read it out through everything else. Uh, let's see, working on something cool lately, really, really is it. I've created a new file encryption script, pretty awesome, check it out. I hit the script somewhere, it's like a little treasure hunt. Track it down and see what you come up with. Leave detective skills. Good luck on the hunt. Hear your thoughts. Keep you posted. And apparently, CU713 has left the country. Don't ask for proof. I'll just. Oh, I'm assuming proof. Okay, so that doesn't really give us much of anything except. Okay, we're looking for something that might show up as outside of the country, maybe? Uh, so, if you're going to upload a file, you have typically two different requests that HTTP makes. That's assuming that it's not like FTP or something else like that. Let, let's just go with how most of everybody does everything now. Uh, get or post and it's effectively get is you are literally pulling the content down and post is literally pushing the content up so if p13 uploaded a file to a server we would be looking for a post methods let's see how many of those are what is it equals equals if memory serves me right and then post oh dear lord <laughs> uh okay there's only one apparently to a panel.php And if we look, okay, down at the bottom, WebKit form bound, content disposition form dash data. I'm reading the at lower portion here. In what is this packet or frame three five one three? So basically, where it just sits after we do that filter. Uh, name equals upload underscore submit. Well, then if I had to take a guess, I'm going to say that the server's 192.168.1.7. By that, that's apparently correct. And then we're looking for what was the name? I 
apparently we can do it through TCP stream. So if we follow TCP stream, so we can see, okay, there's posting to panel.php. Form data, name equals file, file name equals file. Was it literally just name file? It doesn't seem quite right. Oh, here we go. Maybe something in here? So here's the submit. So we get 200 OK. We get the server info. File uploaded it. Upload slash file. That doesn't seem like that would be... I mean, is it literally just called file? Really? Okay, it, 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 it's legit. <laughs> I was expecting something like, I don't know, um, totally not malware.exe, something along those lines. Not literally just file as it was spelled out, but okay. I mean, it's there. What's the other aspect? File, export objects, HTTP. Well, let's do that too. I mean, was there really that much stuff that was sent up? So we get panel.php. I'm interesting. I don't see anything in that it actually talks about that. I'm assuming the host name would be there, the the one nine two one six eight one dot seven. But then I don't see where it actually says file. That's interesting. All right, well, and then what we ended up seeing from that So let's go back to post because I'm fairly certain there was Right? Did I read the... What was the name of the web server where the file was uploaded? So that we're looking for server in the HTTP response. Which was like, yeah, so if we followed this... And it's probably going to be all the way at the bottom, what we were looking at. So server, Apache, version 2.4.54 on Windows 64-bit edition. OpenSSL, version 1.1.1p, as in Peter, PHP 8.0.25. So then the answer should just be Apache. Okay. And what was the directory, or what directory was the file uploaded to? Oh, 
Oh, that was in here, wasn't it? Yeah, file uploaded at upload slash file. So that answer is going to be uploads. Since it's spelled out in the stream. Yes. And then... How long did it take? Check statistics, conversations, and Wireshark. Sure. So we're effectively looking for conversations between 192.168.1.7 and 192.168.235.137. So there's that. Duration zero point zero zero seven three. Zero point zero zero seven three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Wireshark is a hell of a tool. Network miner, too, even the community edition, uh, with some of the stuff behind the, uh, Everything that at least is presented right now. Some great tools there. So there we go. Short, quick, and to the point for the PCAP analysis challenge. Hopefully, um, learn something in regards to Wireshark usage. Specifically, statistics and then conversations. Uh, display filters, I've always got to go back and take a look at references. And I don't, I don't think that there's any sort of harm in that, considering the fact that the amount of stuff that you will end up having to either come across and get a some understanding of, a grasp, that you may not always have to dive into. Like, I haven't had to sit there and take a look at Wireshark. And it's, it's been a little bit of time. Um, I mean, sure, you'll come across PCAPs. You'll have to sit there and take a look and figure out what, what it's trying to tell you, but never usually anything to the point of having to work out conversations. It's usually, like, small, detailed snips. It's not, hey, you've been presented with a PCAP of, you know entire network segment for I don't know 24 hours and try to figure out what the hell is going on so but I will include the documentation here in regards to the filters and I'm fairly certain, well, I'll go through and see if I can't find some of the quick cheat sheets that I've probably got bookmarked elsewhere um, to help in regards to this stuff and put it in the video description. So, with all that having been said, this has been the Let's Defend Challenge PCAP Analysis. Hopefully you all learned something. And with that being said, I will see everyone in the next video.